on the classics a little unfairly. So, how about this? The 2020 151 Formula Drift Supra. This is based on a 2020 Toyota GR Supra, modified by Papadakis Racing, with um, approximately 700 extra bhp. But higher baseline speed necessitates maintaining the drift at a greater lateral velocity. Faster cars need to balance forward velocity against the optimal angle. You are managing it nicely. This is a really tough corner. Be ready to functionally destabilize the rear. into the upper projection range. corners if you take it though. Tell me. That's the Formula Drift Mustang. Very nice. It is. I told you this was a muscle drift, and we've got 6.9 mile drift road I think I've ever seen to try it out on. Let's get cracking. We're dealing with a supercharged 5-litre V8, giving you a good centre of rotation, very slightly biased front, 900 bhp to push out the back. It takes some, um, on my jocularity, lateral thinking to build a good drift car out of a muscle platform. But I think this is a very competent attempt.
It's all downhill from here. I mean that in the topographical sense. Watch the corners, though. Can't drift if we hit trees. Not bad for what's basically one and a half tons of 2015 Mustang GT. Just wait until you see... No, no. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. On the projection, I think we can do better, though. Tire smoke must be visible from the city. I mean, if anyone was watching, which they're not. Okay. What are you planning? Just a little. Something we've been working. Well, you can wait a bit longer. You're no good at keeping secrets, Rob. You know that.
I see you've brought some friends, Rob. Yeah, well, just the local chapter of Drift Club Mexico. We thought we'd surprise you. Well, there's more spectators than I expected. Drift Club. Right, let's put on a bit of a show then. Just turn it... Oh, just go straight down the stairs. This is Mr. Kenneth Cox, Hooligan Jim Carner 10, Ford Focus, RS, RX. Two litre, turbocharged, front mounted engine and all wheel drive. There's only the one seat, so I will be the voice in your head. <laughs> Guanajuato has something of a drift culture, you know. The tunnels, the narrow streets, the cathedral square. <laughs> the roads are closed, right? Oh, yes. Our newest member, Pablo, organized it. <laughs> now follow the tunnels. Watch the walls. They're snaggy. <laughs> Left hand fork. <laughs> Coming up on the end, and a peek at the future of drifting. <laughs> I've got a bit of a confession. You see, we've got another car for you to have a look at. Is that what I think it is? The Mac E 1400, the first fully electric drift and Gymkhana platform. Should we take it out for a bit of a spin? This car was customised by drift legend and engineering wizard Mr Vaughan Gitton Jr. and the fine people at RTR. Why? To answer that age-old question, what is the future of controlled oversteer? What's up, Rob? Looks like you two are having a lot of fun with that car. Oh, yes. Vaughan, it's quite a piece of work. Could I perhaps press you for your impressions working on it? For the members. Getting behind the wheel of the Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400 completely changed my perspective on what power and torque can be. Together, my team at RTR Vehicles and Ford Performance spent over 10,000 hours working collaboratively on this to bridge the gap between what people believe an electric car can do and what what it can actually do. Turns out it is well beyond my wildest expectations. The Mustang Mach-E 1400 uses seven motors, three on the front differential and four on the rear, giving us 1400 horsepower so we can do anything from drifting to high speed track racing. Every piece of aero and every duct you see is functional for aerodynamics and cooling. This car makes 2,300 pounds of downforce at 160 miles per hour. Ford has made it clear that they are bringing fun and function to the battery electric vehicle space. And this is just a... ...wheel drive. The motor layout allows you to change drivetrain essentially at the push of a button. So... Just toggle it over from all-wheel drive into rear-wheel drive, shutting down the front motors, and then off we go. The fastest drivetrain swap you will ever do. Nice right-left opportunity ahead. Careful as you manage the inertia. 
Ceviche transfer. Very hard left, then right, then sideways into the tunnel. And we're heading for where we started. As well as RTR and Ford Performance, let me thank you for this show of the noble art of intentional oversteer. So, we thought you might like to keep the Mac E. Oh, that's amazing. But wait, won't Vaughn want it back, though? Oh, this is an exact duplicate of his. I'm a bit excitable, too. Dante, I just got a notification. Ready to pick an adventure? I'll tell her you're available. Honestly, she won't say it, but I know this is important to her. At the roundabout, take the...